Hello everyone. Ahlan wa marhaban. My greetings from lovely Egypt dedicated to everyone everywhere watches and listens to this session. Hope everything is going fine with all of you. As normal, safety first. Uh, before we starting this quick journey together, a safety moment regarding COVID-19, just a gentle reminder of keeping up social distance. Please follow health organization instructions. Kindly apply all rules of personal protection. I wish you all happy times. Fracture Reservoir Mudrik, the title of this session. The agenda, uh, improve uh, fracture detections methods, fracture characterizations, fracture modeling, then way forward. We got six methods, five of, the, of them uh, are indirect uh, methods of uh, fracture detection and just only one direct uh, method which is the core analysis. Method number two and number three logs which is indirect uh, method and cores directed uh, method as you know that uh, FMI the uh, Information micro image uh, is superior in quantifying fracture density and, of course, detect beds as well. But it hasn't that uh, you know uh, low detectable fracture spacing uh, on, on imaging. Please keep in mind that open hole logs also are of a lower resolution than image. The method number four, indirect one, through seismic. However, the amplitude cubes or the attribute cubes remain factor of the seismic resolution. But it's worth a trial. Number five, the analog, still indirect method uh, for fracture uh, detections. Plenty of sub items like uh, the uh, through the lab, the experiments, a satellite image, uh, the poor hole data, uh, field trips, outcrops, studies. Number six, the will test. However, it's indirect method, but very important one, and gives uh, that uh, very important and efficient signs of uh, or for uh, fracture detections. Will test. We have some types of the uh, or for uh, will testing. Uh, there. Uh, interference tests that a test uh, uses a long duration rate in one well in order to determine reservoir perpetus, such as degree of hydraulic communications and permeability and isotropy. That for well placement activities, also for optimal sweep. DST drill steam testing is analysis of pressure transient data from flow and build up tests for indicating fracture presence second item of the agenda 
fracture characterizations. However, we got four main parameters, but we have 10 sub items or sub parameters out of these four main uh, parameters. So I'm going to uh, browsing them in brief and quickly as following shape divided into two uh, categories unconstrained and constrained orientation of fractures in order to identify the fracture sets then assessing their impact of the permeability which is very important number three fracture scale or from the outcrops full trips or measured from uh, the logs so the fracture varies from meters to kilometers or from millimeters to kilometers uh, here are uh, great uh, professors Dr. Adar Ramadan uh, on one of the uh, trips illustrating uh, drawing how uh, the effect of the bending the folding affecting on the fractures creating fractures very comprehensive uh, uh, one still with the scale size distribution then different fracture size based on different directions last one of the fracture characterization is the fracture spacing or the density of the that fracture uh, network or uh, fracture sets uh, to uh, uh, professor uh, Mohammed Darwish uh, through one of the full trips to uh, the carbonate uh, outcrops illustrated the fracture frequency with that equation and fracture density for all of us and the impact of that how you can measure from the outcrops uh, or through the core or through uh, even, even, even seismic uh, the spacing or the average, uh, average spacing of the fracture Very comprehensive one. Okay, third item that the fracture modeling. Now we are moving to the applications. We start with analyzing the available data before designing or estimation any scenarios possibly for fracture modeling. Okay, the first and second initial data analysis are aiming to create illustrated maps for logs. However, the last step of the analysis goes for classification different sets of different main directions uh, of the fractures. Why does this matter? It's important to evaluate and assess the uncertainties also the potentialities of drainage ellipses of area of interest your field this is the reason classification and determination way forward Um, until I get a permission from maybe Slumberger or some other companies uh, hopefully bring some case study real case study from Yemen and uh, inshallah uh, Egypt as well uh, in order to uh, illustrate or construct uh, show uh, how the 3D fracture attributes 
applied and constructed. Length or aperture spacing of that fracture is quite uh, interesting and uh, very important. Last slide of today. Actually, illustrated the uh, the output. Probability final 3D model. Once you come up with that output, so the mission uh, done or the uh, job accomplished. In one direction, in different directions. In any. Uh, sort of scenario you, you you define your model or you 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 design it so this is the actually the the, the final result hopefully i can i, I can bring on that uh, yeah playlist some real uh, case studies uh, later on inshallah uh, i wish you Found this interesting, uh, maybe. Uh, okay, keep well, and, uh, stay safe. Uh, bye.